Hi, this is Geert Jan from the NetBeans team. In this screencast, we're going to look at code templates. So NetBeans has code templates. For example, when you type PSVM and press tab, you get public static void main. If I type SOUT and then tab, I get system out print line. There are many code templates just like that. And you can find these if you go to tools and options. And in the options window, you go to the editor tab. And within the editor tab, you go to code templates. And here, for all the different languages supported by your IDE installation, the code templates are found. So for example, if I look in Java, I can see in this list that there is PSVM and there is SOUT, and there are many more. You can modify these, so you can change these, and you can see that there are special variables as well. For example, you use this variable to specify where the cursor should be after the code template has been expanded. So after you type PSVM and press tab, the PSVM will be expanded to what you see here, plus the cursor will be at this location within the public static void main. You can add your own, so I can say new, and I can say um, hi, for example, and um, that should expand to hello. Let's say that, so hi and hello, and I click OK. And now if I type hi, it becomes hello when I press tab. Now you can see all of these as well if you go to help and keyboard shortcuts card, and you get a PDF, and what you see in here are the um, keyboard shortcuts, but you also see the code templates. So for example, PSVM is over here, and you can print this out, this keyboard shortcut card, um, to remind yourself what the keyboard shortcuts and code templates are. But right now, when we are inside NetBeans, it's kind of hard to know what code templates are available. We either need to go to that PDF that I just showed, or we need to go all the way to the options window and open the options window and find the tab and look through this. Wouldn't it be handier if we also had the ability to see the code templates maybe over here in this big unused space in a long list for each MIME type that we are using? If this is what you want, there's a very simple solution. On the plugin portal, there is a plugin called NetBeans Cheat Sheets. And right now it's at the top because it's just been changed. Um, if you don't see it at the top there, you can just type cheat in the little search um, box on the bottom left. And there you can see NetBeans Cheat Sheets. When you click on that and you click on the download button, you can save it somewhere. So I'm going to save it in downloads, save it in there. Okay, and now I go back to NetBeans and to plugins and to downloaded. And I say add plugins and I go to the downloads folder and in here somewhere I have the cheats plugin that I just downloaded. So here it is. You can see it's version 7. Very important. Make sure you have version 7 or above because this is where all the latest enhancements are. So version 7 is the current latest version of this particular plugin. So we say continue and we install it and we say close. Now we have something wonderful. Aside from the key bindings, so um, that's a whole different topic, we're going to focus here on the code templates. Uh, currently we are in a Java file, so we just save this file. Uh, if we say we are on some other set of code templates, so here we're on HTML, and we open the Java file, you can see that automatically the code templates window updates itself to show the code templates for the current language. So the current language is Java. So now let's say we had an HTML file here. So let's look for HTML. Here's HTML. Let me type ABC. And here's the HTML file. You can see that the, this, um, the code templates update themselves. Now here are the HTML code templates. For example, we can see here BO and it expands to body. Okay, so we type BO, press tab, and here we have body tags. Similarly, um, you can see here UL, it expands to, and here we can see what it expands to. So here you can see when you click on that small button to the right, 
what you will get when you type the uh, the template. So UL tab and so it's very handy to have these directly inside of the um, IDE. You don't have to search for them; they are directly available here. Now, if you don't want this behavior of um, when we switch from one file to the other of the code templates window updating itself, there's a small button in the bottom of the code templates window. And now, when I have unselected this, we can switch from the one to the other, and you can see that the code templates window stays exactly where we want it to be um, by our manual selection. So it doesn't automatically switch to a different um, set of code templates. Now, the code templates that you see here, so this, this dropdown shows you only those that are actually available in your installation. If we had CSS um, uh, support in this, in this installation of NetBeans, we would see CSS here. But um, there's no CSS integration here. I don't have the HTML5 um, and PHP version of NetBeans. I have the Java version of NetBeans. So there's no CSS integration here. And um, we can see JavaScript is here. Now, of course, there's going to come a point where you wonder, OK, what if we change the code templates? OK, so let's have a look. We go to HTML. So now we could go all the way to the options window and make a change there. There's also a very small button on the top right. I click this button, and when you hover over it, you can see a tooltip. Um, but so when you click on it, we the options window opens exactly on the tab where we need to be within the options window. So let's go to HTML, and let's say that here we want to add a new code template specifically for HTML files. So we say new, and let's say that when we type hi, what we want to appear is um, hi, maybe like this. Okay, so we say okay, and what you now see is that automatically what we have just entered has been added into the code templates window. So there is communication between what we change in the options window and what we see here in the code templates window. This is always kept updated with our latest changes. So now if I type here um, inside the HTML file, I type hi and tab, you can see that this has now changed to what we typed. So if you want to make any changes, just click on this button, you go directly to that window, and then choose the uh, MIME type that you want to make a change to, and just be aware um, that when you make that change, what's very useful is that automatically the code templates window updates with the latest change and adds to it um, the, the new code template that you've added. That's it, a brief introduction to code templates on how to change them, how you can view them on the keyboard shortcuts card, but also how you can integrate code templates very directly into the IDE so you can see as you're coding which code templates are available for the language that you're using. That's it, have fun with code templates and have fun with NetBeans.